A state lawmaker is taking the governor to court over line item vetoes in a massive tax reform bill. Lawmakers passed HB 547 in March. It included big changes to the, the New Mexico income tax brackets. It also set a single corporate income tax and provided a slew of tax credits. But Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham vetoed much of the bill, only leaving child tax credit changes, a round of rebates, some new film incentives, and an expansion of gross receipts deductions. At the time, the governor said she vetoed portions of the bill that she feared were not sustainable. But Democratic Representative Miguel Garcia has filed a lawsuit asking the state Supreme Court to invalidate those vetoes. His attorney, retired State Senator Jacob Candelaria, says the state constitution limits line item vetoes, only allowing them on bills appropriating funds. Candelaria says this tax bill does not do that and that the lawsuit is about protecting legislative authority under the separation of powers. The governor's actions here uh, are an affront to that principle. Uh, and, and our client is, has filed this lawsuit to vindicate that important constitutional principle, you know, rising above the politics of the moment. The lawsuit aims to enact the tax reform bill as written. A spokesperson for the governor's office says they expect a judge to dismiss this lawsuit.